Are you at a loss to what to do with your stockpile now that you have a stockpile in place? Well, it is simple. All you're going to do is meal plan. You're going to meal plan using what you have in your stockpile to create nutritious, healthy, great meals for your family. And so using your stockpile to plan these meals is going to be the thing that saves you even more money along with building your stockpile. So building your stockpile and using your stockpile to create meals is the puzzle piece that you need to fit together to save you the most amount of money on your groceries each and every month. So let's dive into how to use our stockpile to create a meal plan so that we can save our family money every month on our grocery bill. So the first thing you're going to do is explore your stockpile. You're going to take inventory of what you have. And I know I sound like a broken record video after video. I'm always talking about taking inventory. But taking inventory is really the first step that you're going to do when it comes to your stockpile. Any part of your stockpile efforts, you're going to take inventory. That is where you're going to start. And knowing what you have on hand and what you need is going to be the thing that helps you build your stockpile that's going to save you money. So the first thing you want to do is explore your stockpile. See what you have on hand. What things can you use right now that you already have to make a meal that you don't have to go to the store to buy. So let's just say that you have spaghetti sauce at home. Maybe you can make spaghetti. Maybe the only thing you need to buy that week is the noodles because you have everything else to make spaghetti on hand. So look at what you have in your stockpile already and use that to uh, make your meals out of for the week. Use what you have. Look in your pantry, look in your refrigerator, and look in your freezer to see what you have on hand already that you can make meals out of. Now if you already have a inventory list already together, it's going to be easy for you to just glance down that list and see what items you already have on hand that you can use to make meals out of. So that is the first step. So the next step is to actually create the meal plan. Now that you see what you have, you want to create the meal plan from what you already have. Now to make this meal plan process even simpler, what I recommend you do is have a list of items already pre-written down. And I like to call them the fast five meals because you have five meals in each of the, you know, meat categories. So you have the beef, the chicken, the pork, the seafood, categories and then you have five meals in each one of those categories and there are five meals that you can cook in 30 minutes or less so those are your fast five meals so if you have a list of these meals now you don't have to just have five you can have more than five but five is just a great number to get you started with if you don't have this list so now that you have this list you want to look on this list to see what you have on this list that's in your stockpile list or that's on your stockpile list of items that you already have and then you know okay well I have you know all the ingredients to make chicken cordon bleu and so you know that you have all the ingredients to make that then you can go ahead and put that on your menu for the week so what I don't want you to do is to come up with things before you look at your stockpile don't come up with meals and then look at your stockpile to see what ingredients you have and then write down all the missing ingredients. Look at what you have first. Use what you have first. Make a menu out of those items and then whatever smaller items that may be missing, then that's what you put on your list. And you want to match up what you're wanting to have for dinner that week to whatever is on sale. And then that way you're saving money each week by planning using the ingredients that you already have at home and matching up missing ingredients with things that are on sale now when you're doing this and you're creating your meal plan i want you to be flexible in your uh meal plan now when i create my meal plan i have monday through friday and i just write down meals that i'm going to cook that week not in any necessary order. Even though I may put something on Monday, that doesn't mean that that's what I'm going to cook on Monday. That just means that that's a meal that I'm going to cook that week. And so give yourself some flexibility. Give yourself some grace when it comes to what you put 
on your meal plan and when you cook that item. Just because you put it on Monday doesn't mean that you have to cook that item on Monday. But take into consideration things like what your family has going on that week, what your schedule is like for yourself. Is it a busy day? Is it a slow day? Is it something that you can take a little time to cook? Is it something that you need to put in a crock pot and cook that day? Take those things into consideration when you're meal planning so that you're not cooking in the kitchen on a day then when really you can't be in the kitchen and the day you can't be in the kitchen is a day that you should have a crock pot meal or something that's going to be very quick and easy for you to prepare for your family to have for dinner that day so just be sure that you're giving yourself that grace and that flexibility that you as a mom also deserve so as i've stated you need to use your meal plan as kind of a shopping list and so whatever is missing from your meal should go on your shopping list. And that shouldn't be very many items because you're using the bulk of what you have already at home to make these meals. So put those missing items from your meal plan on your shopping list. Match that shopping list up with whatever's on sale that week and see if you can save money in those areas where you're needing those items for the week then you want to make sure that you're staying organized so wherever you create your shopping list i mean your meal plan on the side of that you should have your shopping list so that you can easily see what your meals are and what ingredients are needed for that meal and then you can also put beside that ingredient the amount of that item that you need to buy that week so maybe you need to buy two heads of lettuce you know for your family to make salad or what have you so you know exactly what you're buying so when you have the less work you have to do in the grocery store the easier the grocery shopping trip is going to be for you so you want to make your grocery shopping easy as possible put down the amount of the item that you need so you don't have to think about this when you're in the grocery store or try to remember because the thing is is as much as we you know think that you know we got it in our heads that's the moment we're gonna forget that we need a specific item or how much of a specific item we need so just you know keep that from happening just write down the number of an item that you need next to that item so that you've taken all of the guesswork and thought work out of shopping when you're at the grocery store you also want to make sure that when you're meal planning that you're picking one day out of the week to create your meal plan so maybe you pick a sunday evening or a sunday morning to do your meal plan me i plan every sunday for my meal plan every sunday i sit down and i create whatever meals that i want to have for the week using whatever is in my stockpile that i have and so when i am meal planning i know it's very little that I need from my meal plan that's gonna go on my shopping list because most things I pretty much have with the exception of some of those items that just aren't stockpileable. And so once you do that and get into a routine of sitting down once a week to make a meal plan, the process gets easier and easier and smoother and smoother the more that you do it and the less stress that you have on yourself during the week trying to figure out what it is that you're going to feed your family for the week and that's why it's important to have a meal plan so that you know exactly what you're going to feed your family during the week and that you can take these things out of the deep freezer that need to be thawed out beforehand so maybe before you leave in the morning you take out the chicken or you take out the ground beef before you leave for work that morning or before the kids get on the bus that morning you take that meat out and by the time you're ready to cook dinner is already thought out and ready for you to prepare now if you're serious about building your stockpile and using your stockpile to meal plan and save your family money then i want you to get on my wait list for my stockpile mastery session master class that'll be happening here really soon you get on the wait list and you'll be the first to know when i'm going to be hosting that class and it's going to go over everything that you need to know about stockpiling and getting started and building and maintaining your stockpile so the information for the stockpile mastery workshop will be down below in the description and you can get on the wait list from there. That's all I have for you in this episode.